Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to talk to you about farming gypsum every single day. Now, everyone knows there's lots of different activities you can do to get gypsum, and I'm going to go over the ones that I recommend that you do every day because they are fast, they are efficient, they will make you lots of gold and not cost you a lot of time or materials. And then I'm going to talk about the gypsum that you can do if you have a very powerful group of friends, maybe a very rich and powerful company that you play with. Uh, but for solo players, I'm going to tell you what to avoid. I'm also going to tell you my thoughts on certain uh, methods of farming gypsum, which involve the areas that you should farm if you want to do the topaz one, which I don't recommend uh, right now unless they fix it. And I'm going to also talk about diamond gypsum and all that. So let's get right into it. First, first one is diamond gypsum. Now, I've already done my daily on this one, so I shouldn't receive one, but diamond gypsum, you get it from doing any holiday activity, right? So in this case, this is like a Christmas one. You just uh, loot the gift pile here, and it will give you a diamond gypsum. It won't give me one because I've already done it, and there we go. So uh, whatever other holidays this game comes out with, you will just do the holiday event, and that will give you the diamond gypsum. And you need three of these to make a gypsum orb. All right, the next one is emerald gypsum, which all you need to do is either go out and gather, which is really easy to do. If you want to get it as fast as possible done through gathering, just gather ironwood. The other fastest possible method, which I'm going to recommend right now, is just do cooking. All you need to do is make 100 hearty meals, and what that will do is that will give you one full tick of cooking uh, aptitude, which will then give you one, your one daily emerald gypsum, which is all you need for a gypsum orb. So let's go ahead and just craft 100 hardy meals so I can show you real quick. Because I have not done this yet today. I have not done any gathering. And that should hit the notch right there. Okay, maybe it's 101. Uh, it was 100. I don't know what's going on. So let me just uh, pick uh, some food items here that I have uh, a massive surplus of. And we're going to go ahead and do that again. I'm just going to craft one. And that should put it over the little notch there. Okay, well, it's still not doing it. So I obviously have the number wrong, or they've tweaked it. Um, you can see that it's clearly on the notch, and I haven't received it yet. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cook like ten more. And uh, uh, wow, how embarrassing, right, guys? Let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and add the carrots, add the squash, add the sugar. I'll just, I'll just cook ten more. Sure, why not? There we go, got it. Emerald gypsum. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe it's because I didn't have a certain... There's got to be something in the world that gave me less experience than before. Or, or they just altered it from the test room. I don't know, but there we go. We got our emerald gypsum. We also get a little crate here for cooking stuff. It's whoop de doo it's whatever, right? Um, all right, on to the next one. All right, I'm not going to demonstrate topaz gypsum because it takes quite a while, but what you do is you craft a potion which will allow you to kill level 55 and up enemies, and they will have a chance to drop topaz uh, gypsum. And you need 10 of them to craft an orb, but the problem with topaz gypsum is that you can only get a mob to drop one every 3 to 4 minutes, so it's still going to take you about 30 to 40 minutes to farm this one every single day. And that is a lot of work, and it's quite expensive to craft, but you can pair this one by um, skinning boars. So here's my recommended spot. I'm not going to show you in the game. I'm just going to show you on the map. You go here. Uh, this is uh, Eden Grove. So you go here to the Gatherer's Road. And you go right down here. And there's just tons and tons of boars. You use a ranged weapon to pull them all. Uh, they're level 60. You kill them all. You skin them. You can also go right outside of the outpost here at Valor Hold. And just right outside of the road here, there are tons of boars. These are striped boars, and they are aggro. As in, if they see you, they will attack you. Um, I don't think these are level 60, though, so they won't work with the topaz gypsum. Uh, other than that, you have to go here to Genesis, and the boars here are above level 55. But there's not as many. This is really the best spot in the entire... What? Oh, I thought that was an AFK warning. I was like, I'm not AFK. Uh, but yeah, this one area right here is the best. Another good spot is on this ridge here at the top left of Eden Grove. You can go here and there are the these little blight monsters that just punch you. They have very low HP. You can kill them in one to two shots with a ranged weapon. And then finally, in Shattered Mountain, you can go to these forts. So what I'd like to do is I'll just, I'll just plop down a campfire like right here in the middle. 
and then I will clear out all of these little forts, right? Um, and you can just pull the entire fort if you're like a high strength cleave build and you can just kill them all and that's an easy way to get them too. Uh, I would usually d be doing a chest run while clearing these out. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do, but honestly, I don't think Topaz Gypsum is worth the time, effort, or energy. This is one that I generally skip because it costs too much to craft. It's not really worth it. Alright, so Obsidian Gypsum, you gotta be in elite zones, okay, and they gotta be level 60. So, right here, Caminus, this is the one that I farm. I have a build video on my channel that teaches you how to solo mobs in Cam Caminus, and you can also solo the bosses, though. They have lots of lots of HP. It's not fun to solo the bosses by yourself. It's really time inefficient, okay? Uh, you're going to need three of these for one orb, so you'll need to kill three bosses. Uh, and it's not even guaranteed that they always drop either. I'd say maybe one in four. It, it's really annoying to farm. I don't recommend doing the Obsidian one. If you if you roll with a group and you do like a Merc Guard run, you'll have this one done every day. I, I, I haven't done a group Merc Guard run in like months, so it's whatever, man. But they, remember, they have to be elite zones and it has to be recommended player level 60 or higher. So like these, these are all good spots. Well, that's a dungeon. You can't do it inside the dungeon. It's got to be open world. Uh, so that's Obsidian. Alright, Ruby Gypsum is one that I do every day, and that is Outpost Rush. You just go to your faction uh, vendor where, in any town, right? So I think mine is right down here, this little covenant icon. And so you just talk to this person. I welcome you All right. service And then the you can light. press number two on your this keyboard to select this quickly, or left click, and then you click join a solo player. And all you gotta do is score a minimum of 500 points twice per day in Outpost Rush to get your Ruby Gypsum, and you need two Gypsums to make the orb. Now, this does take anywhere from as fast as 5 minutes to as long as like 40 minutes, depending on how your match goes. But, you also get a loot box, which has a, it's like, 9% chance to raise your gear score. So it's basically like, like a Gypsum, sort of. But also, you get money and Azoth for doing it. Now, I have a video on my channel that explains how you can very quickly get 500 points without ever being able to kill a player in Outpost Rush. Then, you can just AFK on top of a mountain and wait for the match to end while you watch anime or cook you some food or play another game in a different window. And you can get your, your Gypsum Daily done pretty much effortlessly. So, I highly recommend this one and I think everyone should be doing it. Alright, Amethyst Gypsum, and I might have misspelled it, whatever, I don't care. To get that, you have to do level 55 or higher breaches, so is there, yeah, here, here we go. Um, you see these right here, these little festering hives. Now, uh, for this one, you have to do, what is it, it's, you get seven, seven of them per orb, but you're not guaranteed to get one for beating one of these. Now, I've found that out of doing 20 of these, I will have earned about four, and then doing 20 of these with a group takes a very long time. It's like 40 minutes to an hour. Now, you do get the little loot crates, which is a 2.7% chance to boost your uh, gear score when you open them. I know it's called expertise now. I'm old school. I don't care. But the point is, is that this is a very time-consuming and group activity, so I don't recommend it because I don't recommend group content unless you have friends or something. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Citrine, or Citrine, I don't know how to pronounce it, because I, I, I'm I not cultured, okay, whatever. You can tell me in the comments how it's pronounced, and I, I'll just ignore you and, and call it Citrine, or Citrine, whatever I'm feeling like, okay? To get this one, you only get one uh, per day, and you only need one to make your Gypsum Orb, alright? Uh, to do this, you have to do an arena, and I, and when I say arena, it's not like a PvP arena, like in World of Warcraft, it's... Uh, it's a very expensive orb you have to make, and then you go with some friends, hopefully they're your friends, and then you beat a boss monster, and then you kill the boss monster. Like, there's there's one here in, in uh, Reek Water. You go all through this crap, all the way to the end, and you can go to the Spire of Melpamine, whatever. See where it says Arena on the little tooltip there? Uh, you use your orb, and then you fight like a Siren boss, and then you would get it. It's very time-consuming. It's expensive. I definitely don't recommend this one. I've actually never done an arena because I just don't know people that like me that play this game. So I don't even know why I'm still making videos for this fucking game. I don't know anybody. No one wants to play with me anyway. 
All right, and the last one is the Sapphire Gypsum. All right, so this one, you have to beat the last boss of Lazarus or Genesis. This one is extremely expensive to make, really time-consuming to do. It's just awful, okay? So I had to I spend five days spamming global chat, paying ten times the regular rate uh, for a Genesis run, uh, just to get one of these. And, uh, yeah, so it, if you have friends and if you run, like you know, stuff together and you play together, then great. You can you can get one of these a day, you can turn it into a gypsum orb or, or whatever, but the thing is, is a lot of people don't really do Genesis or Lazarus until their gear score is pretty much maxed out because they want all those juicy drops, which, by the way, got stealth nerfed, according to several Redditors and people on the forums. I wouldn't know since I don't have people to play this game with and I don't have people to run me through these dungeons for free. I know a lot of people think that being a YouTuber you just have this massive hand full of friends and just people lining up to give you free shit and carry you through dungeons and that's not the case. Maybe if you're some sort of social person or a girl gamer, maybe, but in in my case I don't I don't get that kind of treatment so I don't really have people to play this game with. So getting a sapphire gypsum I had to pay 10 times the rate. Just to say that I've done it and beat the game and complete every dungeon or whatever. Maybe this will change. I, I have no idea. But um, it's prime time and it's um, taken six minutes to, to just get enough people for Outpost Rush. That's so sad. What has happened to this game? And no, I'm not I'm not, not joining it. I only queued it up for the video. So now they're going to have to wait for another person to queue. Anyway, guys, sorry for the downer video. But uh, what else am I supposed to educate you on, man? There's... It's not a lot going on. I don't have people to play this game with. I've pretty much hit a brick wall. I've hit my peak uh, as a solo player, and it only took me 36 days and 14 hours, which uh, that's not counting all the hours that I spent in the betas, which is actually way more than that. But anyway, guys, I'm so bingy. I make, well, I, I kind of make videos every day for this game. Yeah, uh, tune in tomorrow or something. Who knows? I mean, I still have, like... A one hour video to put out when I get a chance to voice act it, okay? But other than that, um, just let me know what you want to see that a solo player with no friends and no one likes them can provide because I don't, like I said, whatever, I'm just not going to rant. You heard me if you didn't skip around in the video, and if you did skip around in the video, then, then go back and watch the whole thing again. Whatever, see you tomorrow.